Let's speak about the current industry context around CRA or Cyber Resilience Act. Today, compliance is more important than ever before. Adopting diligent security practices and standards is a, isn't just crucial for resilient software and systems, but for meeting the rising and complex product standards, which are expected by the governments and market regulators. The most recent example today is the Cyber Resilient Act, or CRA, in the EU. A new piece of legislation that demonstrates the need for more stringent security practices for products. CRA will enter into force in 2027. The CRA is relevant for all products, digital elements sold in the EU. Under the CRA, all devices and products with digital elements are classed into three categories. First, non-critical. 90% of all our products of the market, like speakers, hard drives, games, fall into this category due to their low risk of vulnerability and low access to critical systems. Then we have the class one, low risk. There are products where security is a critical part of their behavior, such as products with lower level access, password managers, firewalls, VPNs, or even web browsers. And then we have the class two, which is where you will have the higher risk. There are products like operating system, microprocessors, industrial firewalls, or even CPUs. Depending on your product classification, you will expect to meet new stringent requirements if you want your product to be available in the EU. First, all manufacturers must perform security maintenance and planning before their products are built and after they are sold. You need to track and report exploited vulnerabilities to the European Union Agency for cybersecurity within 24 hours of discovery. And you need to have a clear plan for security patches for those vulnerabilities. Second, devices made public for sale must clear information and documentation about their components, design and security. Your product will need a software bill of materials, what we call the SBOM, that is publicly accessible in a machine-readable way. And third, you will need to do a risk assessment of your product. If you have a critical class product, then you will need a third-party assessment and, potentially, a certification. For non-critical products, you will be able to do it yourself with what we call a self-assessment. And for a period of a maximum of five years, you will be required to recall or withdraw your product that don't meet conformity standards of the CRA. So you need to be aware that breaches or non-compliance could result in fine, big penalties and business discontinuity. We are passionate about enterprise-grade security in open source. Canonical understands regulation and at it takes to meet compliance. We have been securing open source for 20 years and we secure the widest open source library, more than 36,000 packages. Our security team works in concert with open source communities and maintainers in order to ensure that the software we distribute is secure. We are committed to delivering CRA compliant Ubuntu and we are committed to help our customers deliver on these new security requirements. Securing your device is vital. Whether you are meeting new compliance standards or giving your end user a peace of mind. Check out the link in the description to learn more about how Canonical and Ubuntu Pro can support you. <music>